Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna show you how to do simple shape in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the Fusion page and I'm gonna share with you how to create a square and circle in the Fusion page. Uh, it might be simple for a lot of people, but I was struggling a lot with that when I started with Resolve uh, and I'm gonna show you in a second uh, just how to do it. There is two techniques. You can either use uh, a combination of mask and background or use the dedicated S shape node. So first off, let's start with shape technique. So here we're just gonna take a background we're just gonna bring the viewer. And as you can see, we just have basically a black background. We can change the color of this background. So our future shape right here. Then once this is selected, we can select either a rectangle or an ellipse. And basically it's a mask that's just gonna uh, give a shape to our background. So right now I just selected rectangle and now we can just adjust uh, as we want this shape to make a rectangle, uh, to make a square. We can then in the parameter right here, adjust the corner radius to have, you know, uh, some smooth angle, for example. And you could here adjust uh, the opacity of this shape as well as here the soft edges if you don't want to have solid edges but faded edges instead. For the circle, it's very similar. Here, you're just gonna select your background and you can just click on the ellipse right here and it will just bring a circle right here. The only problem with that is that if I try to adjust here, as you can see, the circle doesn't retain its shape because the uh, width and the height are not locked together, which is fine, you know, if you want to create like a novel shape like this one. But if you want to uh, retain a perfect circle, what you can do is using expression and link those two together. So here, I'm just gonna right click on expression and then we're gonna link the width and the height. And what it does essentially, uh, it's just linking those two so they retain the exact same value. So now when we are uh, scaling up or scaling down the circle, it's retained the exact value and we have a perfect circle. It got all the other parameters that I mentioned earlier as well. So here you have the opacity uh, and you have the soft edge, for example. So this is for the first method. The second method will be to use here, down there, the shape element to create shapes. That allow you to start creating more complex stuff. And overall, I think it's better. It just depends on uh, your node structure, what you can and cannot do. I have a full video on how to use them. I will link it in the description below. But basically, it works very differently. You will need a S render, which basically gonna render your shape. So you're gonna just bring S render right here in your timeline. And then you can bring, for example, a rectangle in your timeline as well. Link that together. And then let's just bring the S render in our viewer. And the cool thing about using the S rectangle instead of uh, using the mask rectangle is that here we can uh, get a perfect square uh, directly. We can use the exact same technique that I've shared with you with the ellipse. So here we can link the width and the height. And now we can have like a perfect square, uh, which wasn't possible to do with the rectangle uh, mask technique. And if you decide to use the S shape node, uh, I think you don't even need to use the S ellipse because here, if you just put corner radius to the maximum, you're basically by default uh, getting an ellipse. So I basically always use the S rectangle and I never really use the S ellipse because you can basically do an ellipse uh, using the rectangle node. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create uh, shapes in DaVinci Resolve. Again, I have a link in the description, a more complete guide on how to use the S shape nodes. And I just wanted to include and share in this video uh, the mask technique uh, to show you that you have two way to go about it, uh, depending on your composition and what you try to achieve. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.